Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, please allow me to start with a question. May I know how many people in the room have owned or own cryptocurrency right now? Can you please raise your hand? Okay, I'm not surprised. So a lot of people in the room have had or have cryptocurrencies. So most of you here must have encountered issues of ex user experience and security with your wallets. And that's the reason why we, we started Unikeys. So please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alexander Tabak. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Unikeys. So Unikeys is a company that empowers people, whether they are businesses, enterprises, or consumers, to seamlessly and safely interact within cryptocurrency ecosystems. So there are three foundational layers in, at Unikeys. The biometric card hardware wallet that I hold right here the frictionless payment experience that we implement using payment channels in order to allow disintermediation in transaction. And finally, uh, the white label solutions we provide for enterprises. So as you all know, the cryptocurrency space is being challenged by a couple of factors. Uh, user experience, security are very important, but at the, at the end of the day, user experience is what matters for adoption. Um, as you can see here, a couple of significant hacks happen in Japan and in other countries, which represent the risks of relying on centralized exchanges. And the problem is that by relying on those exchanges, sometimes you don't know what you really do. What you do is that you give them the ownership of your privacy. They hold it for you. And if they get hacked, sometimes you might get with no way to recover your funds. So this is a problem. And the governance of some of those exchanges is also a problem. So we believe at Unikeys that if we want cryptocurrencies or crypto assets to be mainstream, we need to provide a strong and comprehensive user experience and also strong privacy aspects. It's very important. So there was a trend in these last two years uh, that consists in buying hardware wallets. Some of you in this room must own it. They look like USB sticks or hard drives, and they have a secure element most of the, most of the time. So it enables you to generate and control your private key. So you get the ownership of your assets in this case. However, in terms of user experience, in terms of ease of use, and transportability, it's very low. USB sticks and hard drive is not something that uh, anyone can use and bring in the streets to spend cryptocurrencies. So at Unikeys, we decided to develop a unique biometric card hardware wallet that combines different features, among which the fingerprint sensors, the EMV chip, the NFC antenna, and we also have a secure element that is certified meaning that your private keys are generated inside the card and remains inside the card. Same for your biometric feature. So now, please allow me to show you the proof of concept. So we have developed an Ethereum wallet in order to show you how is the experience with the card. So the first thing I can do is, for instance, sign in on the card. So I just authenticate. Then I tap my card using the NFC, and I, get, and I get access to my wallet with my balance in Ether, my QR code, and the recent transactions. So if I want to make a transfer, I can scan your QR code, or I can just simply tap my card and transfer the public address. If I type an amount, I transfer, I get to validate the details with the transaction fees, the gas price. If I tap the card without authenticating, it's not going to work. And the reason is that the private key is not accessible. So I cannot generate a signature from the card. If I simply press on the button on, then the signature is created and sent to the blockchain network, and the transaction will be validated in a couple of seconds, depending on the Ethereum blockchain and how congestion it is right now. OK, so at Unikeys, apart from developing the hardware wallet, we want to enable a frictionless payment experience using payment channels, whether it's online or offline. We also want to allow much signature framework. So a lot of enterprises and banks are somehow trying blockchain for validating a couple of derivatives or syndicated loans that require a different signature. So you might be able to do that with the card. And finally, when it comes to digitized asset-backed securities, or so-called security token, we also might want to have a way to store them and to control their ownership. So the payment ecosystem is based on payment channels. So you can very simply, relying on payment channels, make a top-up, which is live, scan a QR code, and make a payment from the hardware wallet that owns the private key. So by using payment channels, you do not rely on the blockchain every single time, which means you do not pay transaction fees every single time. And the transaction is uh, at internet speed, so it's very quick. So you just rely on the blockchain to open and close the channel. So 
So we offer this, we want to offer these services to the merchants. Uh, we have developed the FRM wallet I just showed you. We also developed uh, the first implementation uh, going from a card hardware wallet on payment channels worldwide, uh, which is pretty successful and that we presented at Ethereum Japan in November. Uh, our team is based uh, of people with finance, engineering, and cryptography skills. And we got selected in the Cyberport Innovation Center in Hong Kong, and also uh, received a label from the French government-sponsored finance innovation for the work we realized in the fintech space. So Japan is extremely important for us, and that's the reason why I spend a lot of time here, because there is the number one worldwide merchant acceptance in terms of cryptocurrency, and that the users deserve and to get new tools that enable them to control their assets, but to spend very easily using their biometric. Blockchain consortiums are very big here, whether it's Mizuho, MUFG, a couple of banks, they are all part of either Ripple consortiums or others. The JCoin is very interesting uh, utilization. Whether it's a stable coin or cryptocurrency, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what kind of service we propose to the end user and how secure it is. And Tokyo Olympics, in my opinion, is something very important for Japan because I think Japan has the ability to be at the forefront of digital payments. And we really want to be part of it because I believe it's going to be huge. And it started with the JCoin and there are other, a couple, couple of other stable coins that are going to be issued. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for your attention and I uh, hope you, uh, you are interested in Unikis. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandre.